and then we start increasing, but at a decreasing rate until we get to the top. See what I'm talking about? This is our two different types of concavity we have. One region of this is going to be called concave up. If the curve is increasing at an increasing rate, that's this way, this is going to be concave up. Your slope is positive, your slope is increasing. Actually, that's what, all we need is really the slope is increasing. The slope is increasing. That's going to give you a concave up. Concave up. Concave up. You okay with that? Yeah. Is it, is it concave? Well, what I'm saying is concave up doesn't have to be increasing or decreasing as far as the function is concerned, but the slope must be increasing. I know this is going to be kind of weird for you to wrap your head around, but this is a completely concave up shape right here. Would it hold water? Yeah. Yeah. Concave up will hold water. Also, how do you feel when you're happy, when you're up, when you're feeling up? Love Thank you, smile. <laughs> Con you're feeling concave up. Happy. Like, concave up is going to hold water, it's going to be upward facing. Now, if you're confused as to Mr. Leonard, why did you say that the slope is increasing? The slope is increasing here. Watch. What's the slope here? Very negative. What's the slope here? A little less negative. We're not talking about the function, we're talking about the slope of the function for concavity. What's the, what's the slope here? Very negative. Less negative, less negative, less negative, less negative, zero, positive, more positive, more positive. The slope is actually increasing the entire way through. Do you see the difference? That it's difficult to think about because I haven't graphed the slope, I've graphed the function. But we're talking about the slope and how the slope is changing for concavity. There's the distinction. So this is definitely concave up. That's concave up. What it says is it opens upward. That's how people describe it. It opens upward. Or it would hold water. <coughs> That's probably the worst one. <coughs> Here's what it actually means in mathematics. <laughs> if you're concave up, it means your slope is increasing. The function is not necessarily increasing. We see that. This is actually decreasing. But the slope is increasing. Do you see the distinction there between increasing and concavity? The slope is increasing on that, that interval. That's what concave up means. You okay with this so far? Mm. Okay. What's concave down look like? Feeling down. Down. Concave down. Five face. your umbrella. Water slides right off it. Opens downward, would not hold water, but really what it means is that your slope is decreasing. Your slope is de Whether your function is increasing or not doesn't matter for concavity. Concavity says how's the slope changing? The slope changing for concave down means it's decreasing. Slope is decreasing. Notice, look it. How's this curve go? Yes, the curve itself does this. Watch on the board here real quick. Notice the distinction. The curve itself is increasing and then decreasing, yes? But the slope does the same thing the whole time. The slope is very positive, less and less and less and less and less and less. Zero, negative, more, more, more negative, more negative. It's always decreasing through the whole entire curve. You see what I'm talking about? There's a chain, there's a difference between increasing and decreasing as far as the slope is concerned. There's a difference between increasing and decreasing of a function and the slope, how that changes on a function. Now, here, can you tell me where my intervals are for increasing and where my intervals are for decreasing? Stop me uh, when I, for, for my slope, stop me when I change from concave up to concave down. Uh, what do I start with from, let's start this way. What do I start with here, concave up or down? Concave okay. up. And, oh, stop. Oh, you missed it. Let's try that again. Ready? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And uh, yeah, somewhere, somewhere in here. Now, exactly where? 
I don't know, because I don't know the function itself. But it's going to be somewhere right about, I would say there. Right about there, we change. We change from holding water to being an umbrella. From being concave up to concave down. From the slope, increasing, 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 and the slope dies off. Decreases, decreases, decreases. Do you see what I'm talking about there? That changes from concave up to concave down. This would be up. Concave up. Concave down. This point where you change concavity is called an inflection point. Inflection point. Or point of inflection. That's your inflection point. Well, we're con going to continue talking about increasing and decreasing concavity and how that relates to our first and second derivatives. What we found out last time is that the first derivative is going to give you increasing or decreasing because if the slope is positive, you're increasing. If the slope is negative, you're decreasing. We also found, about, found out about the way the curve is shaped. So basically, how we're increasing or how we're decreasing is also important. And what that was called was concavity. Can you tell me which one of these is concave up, the left or the right? So this was the concave up, and this was the concave down. And here's what we've determined. The second derivative, which is the way the slope is changing, if the slope is increasing or the slope is decreasing, will tell you whether we're increasing uh, in, at an increasing rate or increasing at a decreasing rate or decreasing at an increasing rate or decreasing at an increasing rate. So basically, how we're shaped. So here's what we say. If the second derivative is positive, what that means is the slope is increasing. If the slope is increasing, that means we're going to be concave up. Notice what the slope is doing. The slope is increasing. Does that make sense? So if our second derivative is positive, the second derivative says the slope is increasing. Remember, the second derivative is the rate of change of our slope. Are you with me on this? The first derivative was the slope. The second derivative is the rate of the change of the slope, basically if your slope is increasing or decreasing. So it says the slope is increasing, that's going to give us a concave up. So this means concave up. If our, if our second derivative is negative, that means our, the rate of change of our slope, how our slope is changing, that means it's negative. That means it is that the slope is actually decreasing. If the slope is decreasing. Slope is positive, slope becomes zero, slope is negative. That gives a concave down shape. I did explain all that last time, right? OK, good. What would happen if the second derivative equals zero? Well, right now we have a question mark about that. But here's what we're going to fill this out as. If the second derivative equals zero, that means the rate of change of the slope is constant. That means we don't know what's going on right, right there, but it could possibly be where it changes from concave up to concave down, or concave down to concave up. Do you remember what that point was called? Inflection point. This is a possible inflection point. There's cases where it's not, but it's possibly an inflection point. Or pip. Pip. Let me review just a couple things with you. Uh, let, let's give a, a couple graphs here. Do you have any inflection points on this graph? Yeah. Could you tell me where it's concave up and where it's concave down? What am I starting out with? Uh, concave up or concave down? Concave. Notice how concavity really doesn't have much to do. Well, it does have to do with increase and decrease. But you can be concave up even though you're decreasing and increasing. Do you see what I'm talking about? Here we start decreasing and then we increase. However, we're concave up the whole time. Well, the concavity has to do with the, the slope, the way the slope is changing. If the slope is increasing, that means we're concave up. So we're concave up. Tell me where to stop being concave up. Right in here? Somewhere in there. Yeah, for sure. Somewhere in there we're, we're, we stop being concave up, and we start being concave down. We start being able to hold water and, and have something that doesn't hold water. Where do we stop being concave down? Somewhere in here, it looks like about right there to me. 
and then we're concave up for the rest of our, our curve. Those two points, those are called our inflection points. So right here, this is how this would relate to this, this information. These are our inflection points. <laughs> Let's look at the concave up. It says the second derivative should be positive. The second derivative says the slope should be increasing. Is the slope increasing here? Not the function, not the function, the slope. Is the slope increasing here? Yeah. Sure, until it gets to that point. Guess what happens at that point? It, starts, it stops increasing and it starts decreasing. In other, way, in other words, our slope hits a peak and starts falling back down. That's what that says. Now our slope is decreasing, 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 until it hits that point and then starts increasing again. At those inflection points, that's what's going to happen, is where your second derivative equals zero. How many people have an okay understanding of our concavity and inflection points? I'll, I'll get more specific on how you actually find those later, okay? Would you be able to give me intervals of increasing, decreasing, concavity, and any inflection points that occur? Would you be able to do that for me? Yeah. Can you tell me where we're increasing? Let, let's write that out. Increasing, decreasing, concave up, concave down, and any inflection points. Where are we increasing? Give me an interval where we're increasing. The function needs to be going up from left to right. Where are we increasing? So all the way from the start of our graph, which, I mean, this goes way down, but it can start ultimately from negative infinity. It increases all the way up. It's going up until we reach x equals what? Zero. X doesn't equal 3. X actually never gets to, I'm not talking about, talking about that. I'm talking about where does the function stop increasing? Where does it stop going up on the x-axis? Where does it stop? Okay, so when I say from negative infinity, here's what I don't mean. Some of you are a little bit shoddy on your graphing. Negative infinity doesn't mean I start down here. That's not what negative infinity on the x-axis means. X-axis is this way, right? It says from negative infinity, I'm increasing all the way until I get to this point, which is zero. Do you see what I'm talking about? The function is going up. I don't care where the function stops, but on, on the x-axis, right there, it's increasing from negative infinity to zero. To zero. Are you okay with that? So not, not the height of the function, where it's increasing on the x-axis. Does it pick up again and start increasing? Mm -hmm. Where at? x equals what? 2. So from 2 to where? Infinity. From 2 to infinity on the x-axis would be another interval of increasing. Are you okay with the negative infinity to 0 and then the 2 to infinity? Now you if you are, feel okay with that. Yeah. 